yeah, we just grabbed Matthew Delegate. Congratulations on your inclusion. Matthew uh, runs Minus Space, and this is your piece here. It is. It's a new piece, sort of the largest version of the piece. It's a piece called Zero Sum. And it is a uh, selection of books, art, publications, monographs, exhibition catalogs. Mostly I, dealing with the type of work that you're interested in, which is formalistic reductive abstraction. Absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. there's my favorite guy, Alfred Jensen. Yeah, so the work traces the history of the development of abstraction in this country. You know, I've got some of these sitting around my uh, my apartment. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah. At all, <laughs> Seeing a lot of familiar old friends here. Yeah. So all of these books were bought either on discount at museum bookstores, secondhand stores, or uh, they were utterly discarded completely. So that's the uh, way we like them. Exactly. So it's a narrative of the stuff that I'm interested in, as told through uh, other people's yeah. refuse. So congratulations, Matthew Thank Delegate. You. Really appreciate it. I'll see you upstairs. All right. Thanks, Mark. Well, I guess I'd better walk through the uh, the back hallway of the gallery here. I could have missed half of the show. I was wondering, are these Peter Schuf carved pencils? And some interesting pa paintings here by Philip Hansen. Some text. Shit, there's Jerry. This is a really well known Harry Who artist from Chicago, Phil oh. Hansen. You can see him looking at William Blake here. Because we don't have much abstraction in Chicago. Yeah, you're a Chicago boy, right? I always thought you were abstract, Jerry. Yeah, I feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> now I was digging this. this. I was digging this. to you. Don't you see uh, it? Well, I love the Chicago imagists and the Harry Who yeah. people. They were a big influence on me. Yeah, he's born in 1943, mostly not known except the side of Chicago. You see him looking at sort of mysticism, illuminated manuscripts. Again, William Blake. We're not looking at Nauman in Chicago. That's a little too that's, intimidating that's good. for us. <laughs> Thanks, right. Jerry. Peace out. Have a good time. Okay, here's one of the highlights. This is David Foster Wallace. Notebooks. A lot of people are wondering why he's in the Whitney Biennial. No, I think he committed suicide about five or six years ago. Shio Kozaka, born in Morioka, Japan, lives in Los Angeles. More ceramics. This is titled 945 Madison Avenue. And this giant camera obscura is by Zoe Leonard. Jerry in the dark. Well, so we've got a lens here. See if we can get any of these uh, images to pop up. So we got Madison Avenue projected upside down. I don't know whether you can see any of this. Okay, we're gonna uh, rush through the third floor. This is curated by Stuart Comer. by Ken O'Clishy. <laughs> it's, it's paint on a monitor. <laughs> We've got a series of small paintings by 
it'll add them. This is one of the uh, more mature artists in the show. And, uh, Makes me think of Arthur Dove, maybe? Oh, great color. It's like a uh, attractive tapestry by Edel. wall of even smaller paintings. These all look like they're about uh, 10 by 14, 12 by 14. It's a piece by Lisa Ann Arbeck. Let the Dream Ride Itself, 2014. Wool. Assume these sweaters and dresses are also by Lisa Ann. So we got uh, wow, floor to ceiling selection paints by Keith Meyerson. This is a painter that's got almost a cult following here in New York among a lot of the uh, young hipster artists. James Dean. I think what people like about him is the like, direct Painterliness, most uh, kind of icky obsessiveness with the paint surface. And I guess uh, a lot of these are also based on f photographs, photography, in a kind of perverse way. Seems to be a lot of uh, kind of antique folk art uh, sensibility in this floor. Oh. This is one of my old buddies, Martin Wong. This is one of his last shows at Semaphore when uh, Semaphore was in the East Village. This title closed. 1984-85. <coughs> And uh, a lot of people thought that Martin's show was all closed storefronts was a harbinger of the end of the East Village scene. Okay, so we've got a lot of uh, installation and photography here. Architectural, conceptual sculpture. I've got some grid pieces here by Chana Horowitz. Let's go take a close look. This is uh, very obsessive work, and uh, I'm sure these are all probably based on some algorithm or some. Geometric system. 
These are by Uri Ellen. Kind of hard to uh, sort out the titles of the work and the artists from the uh, wall labels. I guess this would be considered part of the crap on crap school of art. It's a work by Tony Green. performance here. saw all this at Gavin Brown a couple months ago. I guess he invites viewers to come in and sit down on this. Oh, there, there's Patty Johnson. Oh, hey, I like that big sculpture. Like Nikki D. San Father. Oh, okay, well, I'm about at getting to the limit of my uh, acculturation for the day. This is titled Choose Any Three by Jimmy Duran. W.C. Fields, Crazy Horse, Zapata. Oh, it's a little more uh, open here. Take a quick look at these works by Elijah Berger. The drawings and also these paintings on drop cloths. Paul R. All works are untitled ink on paper. Carol Jackson, wood acrylic paper mache and ink print. Or Elijah Berger. This is Carol Jackson, titled. Le leather and enamel brass and acrylic. Oh, gee, one of the curators is giving a video interview. It's 
This was a lot of fun. Uh, looks like it's a bunch of uh, symbols and other various metal pieces by Terry Atkins. Well, here's a great example of what I've been calling the uh, neo-pattern decorative work. These two pieces are by Rebecca Morris. This is uh, very much relating to the pattern decorative and people like uh, Mary Gregoriatis, although this is uh, kind of the new washy light improvisational paint handling. It's by Valerie Snowbeck and Catherine Sullivan. Got suitcases, it looks like resin poured in them. <laughs> oh, I like the uh, the nice sheer was that paper prints and the transparency. Phew. So we're wrapping up here at the Whitney Biennial 2014. Brought to you by James Calm. Thank you, Kate. Angelo, Chris, and Risa, right? Thank you.